Good morning, everyone, and thank you for joining us this morning. Before we get we join, we are joined by our guests. I want to address a couple items that have come across my desk over the last week. Um, as you know, I've been reminding everybody about the Community College Promise Program, which was passed in the 2018 legislative session. Now, the due date to apply for this $5,000 scholarship is just around the corner. Originally, we thought the date was going to be June 25th. Well, MHEC, the Maryland Higher Education, has moved it up. So now you must apply by June 17th of 2019. Now, this is up to a $5,000 scholarship. It's not guaranteed $5,000, but you can get up to $5,000 to cover any tuition and expenses um, for that, anything that's not covered by a loan. Now, remember, there are various requirements you must fulfill to be eligible for this scholarship. So to see the list of the requirements that you have to fulfill, we have put the, um, the link at the bottom in the comments section. So just so without further ado, I would like to bring in Angelica Conway. Angelica was chosen to participate in the inaugural Young Professionals Leadership Program. Good morning. <laughs> Good morning. Now, at first, I want to congratulate you. You graduated on Thursday, didn't you? Yes, thank you, thank you. Congratulations. It's finally done. done. Yay. <laughs> you got your accounting degree, right? Yes, yes. I have my undergrad and my master's, and we are now done, 150. Wow. So this was from Towson, right? You went to Towson? Yes. Oh, yes. that's wonderful. Uh, wow. Now the, now the big step is taking the exam, right? Yep. I take my first part June 10th. So let's oh, pray. my God. You're jumping right into it, aren't <laughs> yeah. you? Yeah. Good for you. you know, that's a smart move. That's a smart move. It's all fresh in your mind. And so yeah. that's great. That's wonderful. So I know we had a great time down in Ocean City. You got to meet a lot of cool people and yeah. wonderful. So what did you enjoy most about the program while you were down in Ocean City? Mm. I really enjoyed the atmosphere the most. Um, I know that's probably a weird perspective to look at it, but originally when I was preparing for the trip, I was kind of going down the techie stuff, the the wardrobe, how my hair, like business <laughs> casual bit. Like I just felt so into it. It was a lot of overthinking. And then when I got there, everybody was just like, hey, like <laughs> so excited. I was like, I'm over here making sure everything's like tight and right. And like, All these people are cool. So I really just enjoyed um, how everyone was warm. Like it was a very friendly environment. And as much as we wanted to learn, you guys were also there to have fun. So I really enjoyed the atmosphere. Oh, that's great. I'm telling you that, you know, we, you know, we, they think accountants are stuffy shirts. You know, we kind of have fun once in a while, you know? Yeah. We're celebrating our 60th anniversary. Yes, that was amazing. And you were part of that. Yes. yes. Now, so how do you think the MSATP Young Professionals Conference was useful in preparing you for your transition from the accounting student to the accounting professional? I mean, that's what you are now, the accounting yeah. <laughs> Um, I think it helped me work on my social skills and like comfortability and also reassurance. I think, um, I feel like by day two, I was able to be more transparent in the way I wanted to. I feel like everybody naturally tries to be a little bit more formal naturally, especially when you are kind of the uh, participant more than the um, leader. You try to sit back a little bit more, but I realized that you guys were really looking for participation. So I just slowly transitioned to naturally being myself and sharing my stories. I feel like allowed me to gain more takeaways, sharing more about my work experiences and my school experiences. A lot of professionals are relatable and they shared their stories with me. So it was like a give and take the entire time. So I really enjoy knowing that when I go into the workplace, I... Yeah can still be social, I still can be transparent, and I'll still get that same feedback and that good energy. So it prepared right. me to be more open, more open. Now, you said you're going to take the first part. Now, which part are you going to take in June? Which part are you taking? Oh, God, far. <laughs> oh, are you? Oh, okay. Well, get it down, get it over with, get it, you know, get it off the table. Now, yeah. are you going to be working this summer, too, or no? No, actually, I'm signed with EY and I begin in September. So over the summer, um, I also am a part of a different organization called NABA. So I might be doing remote work for one of my um, professionals. And um, outside of that, though, 
No, I'm just enjoying the summer. I'm going to do CPA work and then be prepared on September. Yeah. yeah. Well, now, are you going to, now, where, where, you said you're going to be with EY, right? Isn't that what you said? Yes, yes. And so, where are you going to be located? Where, which, where are they putting you? The Baltimore location. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah, yeah. So, I'll that's be most so likely traveling from there up until like Columbia, Owings Mills area. Like, that's where usually with the clients that I had over the summer were at. Oh, that's great. That is wonderful. That's great. Now, so with all that, um, do you think MSATB could offer anything different to help the accounting students through this transition to the accounting career? Mm -hmm. What can we do to help you? Yeah. It sounds like you got it together. But <laughs> people who are a little bit more standoffish, what can we do for them? How can we help them? Um, more programs such as the weekend. Um, I wish Yasmin was able to share her perspective being she's going in as a junior. She shared a lot with me. She was saying, because honestly, I was shocked at how talkative she was. She's very quiet. Oh, I really? Like, she's really <laughs> broken her shell. She was like, this was everything I needed. Like, when I tell you, she used to think like, she used to try to be really reserved. And I was like, that's very good, but also when you're in certain environments, you have to know when to be talkative and know when to participate. And I feel like she thought that she was going to ask a stupid question. Or oh, something. wow. She never really broke that barrier in the professional world. And I truly think that that weekend, just in terms of more interactive events, such as the Young Professional Leadership Program, and also I liked how we learned the Microsoft um, office tips and mm -hmm. how we had a brief lesson about, was it Azure, which is kind of replacing QuickBooks. Yes. So I feel like if you guys, which I'm not sure if you're already incorporating, because I did see it obviously at the conference, but in terms of the entire organization, more like QuickBook tips or stuff like that, because my first experience seeing QuickBooks was at the office. I was just fortunate that I was able to oh. like, gain some sort of understanding. But in school, we really look at a lot of, EBTM tools. We don't really look at that many accounting programs. So, oh, that's interesting to yeah. know. So, your first oh, wow. is like, boom, now you have to learn this program and then you have to apply the concepts. And it's just like, whoa. <laughs> so, now, um, so, you know, I, I that is surprising to me. You know, I figured because, you know, being QuickBooks is, I, I hate to say this, but, you know, it seems like every accounting office has. No, really, I know. I mean, no matter because whether it be for their smallest kind to whatever client they have. So, that it's, it's required that they understand and how to use yes. it because. Yes their clients are going to be turning to you as the accountant mm -hmm. saying, okay, what do I do? I hit the wrong keystroke yes. or something. Yeah. And, you know, and you have to be able to answer those questions. Mm -hmm. It's interesting note. So that's really good information and feedback. Thank you. Then I'd, I'd like to add that to our program. That's great. So, so now as a part of the program, you also mm -hmm. a member of MSATP. Yes. Yay! <laughs> so, now, you know, we always are looking for great benefits for, that we can help the professional. And, you know, so what, as you coming on in the new, in the field, what would you like to see? What kind of benefit would help you? Be, well, one, you just shared about the QuickBooks training. Yes. So what other things do you think would help you in this position? I would just say, honestly, I would see more once I go through the program because so far what's really seeming to help me personally is the network and the mentorship like personally I, I really needed that for the transition because sometimes as much as we love the techie side the soft skills are just as important right so I think just being able to ask somebody who was in my shoes before questions that I necessarily don't want to ask my senior or my buddy or my mentor directly mm -hmm. within the firm to be able to ask the organization itself I feel like it makes me feel like I have more of a safe space. Mm -hmm. So definitely taking advantage of my resources and also having the technical side resources on top of the questions is going to help me, I feel like, create a big picture instead of, you know, compartmentalizing things. Everything will be more harmonized. So I truly just think my biggest takeaway from the program so far has just been the networking and the resources that you guys, because you guys are really care. I can really tell. You guys are really <laughs> pushing us forward. So really just maximizing that uh, is my goal. And I think that will be my biggest takeaway. Yeah. Well, you know, it's interesting just by our conversation this morning. It's interesting. It almost like when you're 
in school, you're learning all the foundation, which is wonderful, the great foundations. Um, but, you know, you almost need, you guys need to experience what it's like to be in an office. Yes. So from the classroom, now you're in the office. So now, hey, here's QuickBooks. Here is, um, 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 what's, um, I'm trying to think of what it is an awful um, our, <laughs> um, software, but, um, you know, now you got to use this, you know. Yeah. And uh, uh, buildme.com, that's what it is, buildme.com. Oh, so, yeah, yes. Yeah, you have to learn this. Yep. And uh, like I said, and these are things you're not teaching you in the classroom, yeah. but you experience them it, because it's going to look good for you. And yeah. now you in that transition from student to professional to now being able to work with your client, which yeah. is really important. So I just want to share with the audience, I know you said that you, you said something about Yasmin. Yasmin was supposed to join us this morning. Yes. At an emergency, and she was one of our other students as well. Now, she, um, that was attending our young professionals, I should say, say. But it was great to hear that she came out and yeah, she was able yeah. to open up, and that was great to hear. So that's wonderful. Yes. Oh yeah, and yes. have these awesome books. Yes, a lot of reading. Oh, you've been reading. <laughs> <laughs> Well, let me just tell you, you can download the an, an audio for fourteen ninety nine. That's what I did. So just give you a little bit. No, I'm definitely going to read. I like to highlight news posts. And oh, there videos. you go. I just took a break after I graduated to enjoy it. Memorial. Oh, Day. you should. Yeah. Now, did you go away anywhere after Thursday? Did you go? Um, I went actually to the harbor area, and we had food by the dock. Oh, nice. yeah. Oh, that is so nice. And then my family came down. They just recently left. My sister came from Indiana and my sister came from DC. So we just, the house was cool. It was great. Oh, that's yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you, it has been a real pleasure talking with you this morning. And this morning, Angelica, I guess that I enjoyed our relationship that we're building. Yes. And I'm telling you, it's it was just great seeing everybody down in Ocean City. And, you know, we did have a great group of people. Yeah, definitely. Ten young professionals there with our leaders. And I know you really learned a lot from the leaders. Yes. And I'll tell you, they, they are one of the great things about our members is they are very engaging and they're very open and they do not shy away and they are there to help. And that's what we all do. And so I'm so glad that you're going to be part of, of the whole program. <laughs> yes, I will be. And I'm very grateful for the opportunity. I truly am. So it was great speaking with you as well. And if there's any more opportunities that come by, such as blogs or anything, you just let me know and I'm on board. Yeah. Well, I do want to share a little story with you. So so Tuesday night, I got invited to the cash campaign um, Oh, okay. Uh, award ceremony, which does tax preparation for low to mid, um, moderate um, tax, um, tax um, payers. And I'm sitting there and I'm at the program and I feel this tap on my shoulder and I turn around and turn around and it was Tiffany from the class. from <laughs> I said, Oh my gosh, this is crazy. I, I said, Oh my gosh. I just, this, and then like I said, isn't that crazy? How wow. I know these people now suddenly yeah. they're like right there in your life. I think <laughs> it's amazing. That's it amazing. really is. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure Tiffany was great to see. She probably was like, oh, my God. Yeah, she was. She wouldn't bowl with me then. <laughs> <laughs> well, you never, that's well, you, you never know who you're going to meet. It's a, it's, a, it's a big world, but it's also very small at the same time. That's exactly right. That's exactly right. Well, I want to thank you so much, and we'll, and, and we'll definitely be in contact. All right. And you have a great stand. You enjoy the rest of your day, and don't be a stranger. <laughs> I will. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. So I want to close out today's meeting with a few additional announcements. We have some great seminars next week, and we still have space available. Now, I also, just as a, just a little tidbit, I just was on the phone with our education chair and seminar planning chair. It looks like we might be putting together some hot summer, pre-summer specials. So keep an eye on your email because that might be coming out in the next couple days in which we'll be giving you a special discount. So just keep an eye on that. Now, also, don't forget, on June 22nd, um, we are going to be doing a wine tour um, down at Dotson Winery, Winery, yes, and Vineyards. So, um, in your, again, in your comments section, there's a link there for that. Um, I've just signed up this morning. Actually, I signed up yesterday with my husband. So, come out, join me, and we'll have a nice little glass of wine and take a tour together. 
Now also, another little tidbit, again, because of the great success of our programs, we are going to be expanding our Business Builders Think Tank program. As you know, currently we have it at BWI, Rockville, and in Baltimore County. Because of the great um, feedback that we've gotten from these three locations, we are now expanding them to Ocean City, Columbia, and Harford County. So if you are interested in doing these, um, actually just go onto our website, click on it, and these are free, and it's a great way to interact, get some feedback from your peers, talk about things uh, that's going on in your practice. I'll tell you, we've had really great comments about this, and the people that are currently participating are loving it. And the other great thing is not all of them are actually at the locations. Say you're located in Washington County. Yes, we don't have one out there. However, we do, some of our meetings are by Zoom. So you do not have to take and come all the way from Washington County to Rockville, whatever the case may be. So there's also an opportunity that you can attend these through Zoom. So please, even if you're in the outskirts, you can still participate. So again, I want to thank Angelica for joining me this morning. Um, wow. Can we remember when we were all that young? It was wonderful, full of energy. And I, I just, it was great seeing the, the 10 students we had there, 10 young professionals, I stand corrected, and, and, the, and the power that they're bringing to the profession and the great ideas. And, you know, it does the heart good to see that this is our future and we are going to, and we're so happy to be a part of it. And, and so, again, congratulations to Angelica for passing. I'm sorry, passing for graduating. I knew she was going to pass. For graduating from Towson, she's got a great future ahead of her. And I want to thank her again for joining me. And for that, I would like to close out and say have a great weekend to everyone. And we'll see you next week. And look forward to seeing you then. And I think at that point in time, we're going to be actually announcing a brand new member benefit. I'm not going to give it away, but we'll see you next week. And, and have a great week.